What's going on, everyone? My name is Kyle Harris, a.k.a. Racer Knight 99 the second, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another NASCAR Cup Race review, ladies and gentlemen, and it's time to review of the 2022 Dixie Vodka 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway for the second race of the round of eight. So, guys, two more races away till the end of the 2022 season, so next race will be... Homestead for the final race of the round of eight to see who's going to be determined to advance to the championship four. And then the final race in Phoenix to see who is going to win the championship. So that's two weeks away, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, we're going to get on to review, ladies and gentlemen, of the Homestead Miami Speedway race. And I got to say, uh, congratulations to Kyle Larson. The number five car has pulls on an amazing dominant performance. He slapped us both stages and he won the race for his 19th Cub Race career win and his third win of the 2022 season. I gotta say, by the way, man, Kyle Larson had a fast race car all day, you know, after what happened back in the Char Rovo. I thought Larson was going to be the favorite to win the championship for he was going to defend the championship. And all of a sudden, that he got eliminated back in the Char Rovo. And then, and, that, and then after last race, that Bubba Wallace took out the five of Kyle Larson. Now, this time in Homestead, Kyle Larson just pulls on in a dominant performance. And I got to say... Kyle Larson had a great race car, by the way. You know, he's been, he had, he led like 199 laps. Wow. That's insane, by the way. Wow. So yeah, I gotta say, Kyle Larson just pulls, uh, pulls on an amazing dominant performance to go for his 19th Cup race career win and his third win of the 2022 season. So anyway, let's get on to for stage one race. So we've seen William Byron, the defending winner from last year, was on the pole. And I gotta say, uh, Byron did it, William Byron did a great awesome job, by the way. He, he's in fifth. Actually, he had five plus points in the four playoff standings, by the way. So, gotta say, you know, when Joey Magano won the race already back in Las Vegas, now we got Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, and William Byron are in the, the playoff bubble, by the way, to see who's, if they can make it to the championship four. Denny Ham was in the cutoff line alongside with Chase Briscoe um, and Ryan Blaney and all that. So I got to say, we'll see what happens, what's going to happen next race, but we're about to find out. So anyways, for stage number one, it was been a good race. And then the 45 of John Hunter Nemechek uh, brought off the first caution. He spawns, I want to make a couple of laps in the mid-30s, by the way. You know, so I think it was 36 or 35 laps of, uh, laps of this race, and John Hunter Nemechek brought off the caution. And then stage one was been all clean. You know, we, we don't see a lot of big cautions, a lot of problems with the tire issues and all that. But it's just been a good race, been a clean race, been a lot of fun race. Kyle Larson wins stage number one. And then we, and also stage number two, uh, Chase Briscoe, one of the playoff contender, uh, hit the wall very good. And then that means Chase Briscoe is going to be the must win situation for next race in Martinsville. So. Could Chase Briscoe makes to the championship four next race if he wins in, in Martinsville? We're about to find out. Um, Denny Hamlin hit the, um, scratched the wall a little bit. He had a good, awesome race all day for Denny Hamlin. Um, and then Kyle Larson once again went stage number two. It's been a clean race for Kyle Larson. And stage number three, um, I gotta say, stage number three, man, I gotta say, I thought like Martin Trex Jr. was gonna be the favorite to win the race because Martin Trex Jr. hasn't won a race since, um, Richmond, right? Last year in 2021. So I thought Martin Trex Jr. was gonna be the, the chance for the win. This is, that would have been a chance for the 20th different driver win. And then, uh, Tyra Reddick, uh, brought out the caution. Actually, Ryan Blaney spawns out the pit roll for the green flag pit stop for the final pit stop of the day. But, and then, um, um, Tyra Reddick brought out, brought out the caution with a uh, big he heavy damage for uh, Tyra Reddick. And then, and then everybody was coming down pit road. And let's talk about what just happened in pit road, by the way. Did Mark Trex Jr. was in the lead alongside with Kyle Larson was in second. And then Denny Ham, uh, Kyle, Kyle Larson, Hit the back bumper of Martrex Jr. in the pit road. And I thought Martrex Jr. was going to be the, the favorite to win this race. So, Martrex Jr. all the way back to a couple of laps. All, all the way back to you know, around the top 15 or top 10. And I thought Martrex Jr. was going to have a chance to win this race. But he ended up in 6. But I would have been happy if Truex would have won that race. Because Truex hasn't won a race since uh, Richmond last year. 
Um, so Truex ended up in sixth, and then we see the battle for second was heating up. AJ Allmendinger and Ross Chastain battle for second, and then it was a battle for fifth with Denny Hamlin and Martrex Jr. And yeah, I gotta say, it's been a good race, but a lot of fun race. I want to say congratulations to Kyle Larson with an amazing dominating performance. And um, I wish Larson would have been the favorite to win the championship, but unfortunately he got eliminated in the Char Roval a couple of races ago. So a non-playoff driver, uh, uh, Kyle Larson won the race. Um, we seen like back in the round 16 with the non-playoff driver dominance, by the way. Like Eric Jones winning the Southern 500. Uh, Bubba Wallace winning in Kansas, and Chris Buescher winning in Bristol. So, anyway, uh, I gotta say, it's a very good race, by the way. So, next race will be Martinsville. This is gonna be intense racing, by the way. We've seen a lot of short track timbers. Like, if you probably guys remember earlier this year in the Xfinity Series, like Sam Mayer and Ty Gibbs. Oh, man, that got intense, by the way. And then... William Byron won that race before back in earlier this year. If William Byron wins next race or not, because he's in fourth in the playoff bubble with five plus points. If Byron wins this race next race, because he won this race before earlier this year, William Byron might have a chance to advance to the championship four. Would Denny Hamlin, he's in the cutoff line. Denny Hamlin is a five-time winner in Martinsville. Could Denny Hamlin make it to the championship four? We're about to find out. I gotta say... It's going to be intense racing next race. I think it's going to be like a lot of laps for the next race in Martinsville. Short track racing at the final race of the round of eight. And then we're going to see who is going to be advancing to the championship four, ladies and gentlemen. We guys know in the comments below who you guys think is going to make it to the championship four. We guys know in the comments below. So anyway, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So that was the review of the 2022 Dixie Faka 400. Congratulations to Kyle Larson. Once again, a dominant performance, third win of the season, and his 19th Cup race career win. Wow, almost up to 20th career win, almost. Anyway, uh, congrats to Kyle Larson. Next race will be Martinsville. Two more races away till the end of the 2022 season. And I will see you guys next time. Keep it ready, guys. Have a fantastic, awesome day. Subscribe to my first channel, Racer Night 99 the second, and also subscribe to my second channel, Racer Night 99. And I will see you guys next time. Keep it regin. Have a great, awesome day. See you guys soon, and have a fantastic, awesome day. Has been second. That is until today. Kyle Larson comes off turn four, and Larson will win at Homestead, Miami.